That is it. 15,000 mining, 2,000 herb lore. Absolutely amazing. 32 mining coming in, 33 herb lore as well. Can I make defense mixes? Super close to 34. Oh my gosh, I need a second. The magic defense. 75. Obviously, this isn't what I'm going in with the fight with. There we go. Prayer potion. Prayer potion. Okay, dig site. <laughs> Link actually just did the dig site quest, so maybe I could also get the 2k herb lore. Uh, that's so bad. That's like hero's quest or legend's quest to get in there. He hit, but he hit a one. Oh, my prayer. I just turned it off. Oh, Hello, Bees and Gs. Welcome back to another PvP chunk progression episode. If you've missed any of the previous episodes, I will leave a playlist up in the top right corner and in the description so you can catch up on anything you would have missed. In the last episode, as you guys saw, I got this chunk here. And uh, it's a bit of a way from everything that I have. And that is sort of the reason why I'm going to go this route up. So if we go one up to Shiloh, then we go one right one more right and one up here. That means that I can then do the Grand Tree, which is always good. We can just slither in there, which is nice. Um, and then that is only using four. One, two, three, four. It connects up to my whole giant landmass, as Kins likes to call it. Um, and that means that I can go all the way up here and unlock Barbarian Assault. The reason for this is we need a Granite Plate body. We need one because Rag's range is getting pretty... Uh, getting pretty good and that that rune chain body just isn't cutting it and there's no way for me to get a rune plate body because it's locked behind dragon slayer and i just don't have the quest points i don't have the chunks i, I there's no way i'm doing that so we might as well skip right over it and go for the granite body so uh yeah that's the plan today a few people asked about barbarian assault i can't use a team i can't get people together or anything i just have to turn up in a barbarian assault world and uh, and try and get a team together and, and do it. So hopefully people will take me on being level 75. But we will see. So yeah, that is the, uh, that's the plan. That's what we're going to go ahead and do. So uh, let's start this timer and let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome to episode 16 now of the PvP challenges. We got 50 thieving with our XP reward. We got to put 50k XP into any skill. And I think getting range pots can be very possible this episode. Whereas if I put it into fletching, it's way more of a really, really long term plan where I can't get that benefit in, you know, these next upcoming fights. I really want to start snagging those XP rewards because the account bills are very close. I know he's going to have prayer pots and, you know, getting at 57 thieving allows me to get range pots, prayer pots and super stores. To be honest, it is quite rare, but even if I don't get it, I should definitely get a range pot or two in the process and super defense. So I'm not constantly going back to the chaos roads. But then again, I will need that herb lore experience sometime anyway. So there's a lot to juggle here, but I think that going for thieving this episode could be the greatest thing going forward because I'm going to have range pots hopefully in every fight going forward as well and of course those are going to boost up DPS through the roof with those brunite bolts oh it's going to be so so nice so the first thing what we're going to do you know we can actually start that timer I'm going to teleport home just because it's quite annoying to get to the bank and I'm telling you quickly about my unlocks we have this one which is, of course, where I started. Simply unlocking these three as well because I will need to get a Dwell Berry from the Grand Tree at some point. And, of course, down here, I want the Agility Pyramid. So those are my six unlocks. Let's fire right into this episode, guys. We're actually going to grab a Games Necklace. And uh, we're going to go down and do that mini quest that I was telling you guys about with the pages. We're going to get 10k XP. And yeah, I think we need a slash weapon. We'll grab our scimitar and let's just go down there. All we need is some telly outs and we should be good to go. Do I use the book on Lagosia? Yes. Oh, no, I don't. 
Okay, we got a roll. Someone's picked me in. Let's do it. Okay, we got in. We got in. That really didn't take long either. I'm very happy. I mean, it looks like we've got a decent team around us as well. Uh, let's go. I haven't played BA since last season or season two. So, yeah. Okay, looks like we're going to get wave one done pretty nicely. Looking very good. Okay, it really looks like we've got a decent team. They're like helping... They're helping one guy, this guy's never done it before, and they're helping him out. They're teaching him what to do and stuff, so it looks good. It looks like we've got a solid team and they're not going to drop out on me, which is lovely. Okay, we're on the Queen, and I have no idea what I'm meant to do, to be honest. Not really sure. <laughs> so, we'll see how this goes. He's... Oh, fuck, i got to heal this guy. i got to heal him. He's going to die. Fuck me, he died. Okay, this is attempt number two. I think we're going to get it down. This guy has 46 HP and it's been so hard to keep him alive um, that we got another healer and it seems to have made this a lot easier. Um, so hopefully we can get it down here and then I can get myself the granite body. But what? Oh, we've wasted an hour doing this. Oh, man. Yes! Come on! GG. GG. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, out of here. Now I've got to make some money before I can do this. Oh, yes. You guys know the drill. Agility Pyramid. We need 95k to buy the granite body. So, uh, yeah. Let's do this. So, I was just stocking back up on some food from the bank. And uh, I looked into the rune chain body. I'm not going to need it anymore because we're going to have the granite. Um, I was just going to alk it. But the uh, shop actually buys it for more than the out price. So, we're just going to sell it straight back. Which uh, is very nice to see. We've got to find a world that doesn't have one overstocked. But uh, yeah, we should get 32k back from this. Just over 32k. Where's my reward? Yes, here we go. Now, I can't put this in Herb Lore. It has to be over level 40, which sucks. So that's, that's actually higher than the prayer pots. So we want to go to thieving. Thieving, thieving, thieving. 10k experience into thieving. And the reason I'm actually not doing the fruit stalls is because I forgot that you need 15% favor to steal from them to begin with. Which really does suck because I have the stalls unlocked, but I don't have the plowing unlocked. I even have the fertilizer unlocked. It's just the plowing. I don't have that 5% and I can't do client of current. Uh, so it messes me up a bit there. So we're going to have to do it the old-fashioned method, the 2005 method, and steal um, some seeds from Master Farmers. It's not crazy slow XP, but it is a bit slower. But we still will get it. Don't you worry, guys. So we're going to be here for the next few hours now doing Master Farmers. I'm going to drop all the seeds that I get just because it's so much quicker just to drop them all. Now, we're actually only going for 55, even though we need 57 thieving because there is a cheeky little way I can get a nice plus two boost for the 57 get through that gate open up the grubby chest happy days so i just got that 55 thieving guys i instantly tell you at home we are now getting beers because for the squirt juice in sorcerer's garden you actually need to have empty beers so let me start drinking these i'm gonna get a few more because i don't know how many times i'm gonna have to continuously get squirk and then go in there with the plus two boost because, you know, it, it's actually a decent amount of time to get that 57 thieving. I don't exactly know how I'll handle that. Um, but we'll, we'll have the beer glasses ready at the very least. And look at this. Sorcerer's Garden is right on the edge. So that 55 thieving took about two hours from start to finish this episode. But uh, the ranging pots and the potential to get a prayer pot or a super store is definitely worth it in my eyes. Oh no, I need Prince Ali rescue quest. I know Osmond's here, I start the quest here. Um, Leela is over here. The jail's over here. The, the ingredients I need for the quest, it's, oh my gosh, it's looking like I can do it all. I'm just giving it a quick thought. Oh my gosh, I, ugh! It's okay, it's actually a quick quest. It's actually getting the ingredients, which is the more, or the requirements, the item requirements that are more annoying. Fuck. Okay, all right, you know what? We're still gonna try to do it, because fuck that. Okay, okay, let's do it. We're questing, guys, we're questing. Right, here we go. This is gonna be the last one I do. I think 132K is gonna be enough um, to buy the granite body, to buy some runes, uh, and all that good stuff. So uh, yeah, this is gonna be my last one. We actually got 55 and a half agility as well, so pretty decent. Is that on him? And then let's Barbarian Assault out of here and get our Granite Body. 
Commander Conrad, my man. Okay, we want the granite body, please. Select, accept. Boom. The granite body is on the account and we look like a beast. Okay, so the plan now is to kill some undead druids. Um, unfortunately, magic isn't viable against them. They've got such a high magic level that it just wouldn't make sense. Um, so what I've done instead is I've got myself my nature runes some of my lava dragon drops and i'm just gonna alk them as i kill the undead druids uh, we're super close yeah 4.8k away so this should be enough um all of this should be enough to get me that level and then we'll be 67 one closer to 70 and obviously every level we get also gives us an advantage in the fights with uh, just more chance of being able to hit so that's the plan, and obviously we can also get ourselves grubby keys, which is another reason why I'm here. There's an amulet of strength on the floor. But anyway, yeah, so I'll get defense levels, magic levels while I'm here. Um, and yeah, we'll just uh, slowly go up in both those levels. I think they're going to be important for the future. And also, these guys drop insane loot. Like, so, so good. Whether it be runes, alcaballs, just coins. Um, so yeah, they're, uh, they're really, really decent. This is going to be the magic level coming in, and we have made just shy of 40k. There we go, 67 magic coming in, which is insane. Well, actually, I think we came here with like 10. I can't remember exactly what I came here with, but like, the money is so, so good here. They're just constantly dropping amulets, constantly dropping coins. Uh, got some more natures as well, so I topped up on those. We are out of food now, so I'm going to hone telly, probably hit up um karamja for some karam ones because we just have so much money uh now there are so many item requirements it's actually unreal the only way i think i can mine clay is actually to use this unlock with the uh necklace of passage i need soft clay for this quest uh use it on that then we need to go back to lumbridge we just need three balls of wool which i have the wool already Yellow dye, I have the onions, and a rope, which I can get at net as well, which is kind of where I have to go, as per the quest, because I already spoke to um, the guys in Alcarid. Um, so yeah, guys, I'm going to fire through this quest, because I'm just about to get all the materials, and uh, hopefully it won't take too long, and then we can get those squirks. Oh my gosh, it's problem after problem, isn't it? Yellow dye and rope, that's all we need. This quest has scared me. I am so close to the black that I could be one or two steps away. I know Leela was just in the darkness and I got really scared, but there she is walking in the daylight. She's come to the light side, guys, so it's all good. I should be okay. I really think I am okay, but the nerves are pounding because this whole plan would be a flop. I mean, the hours put into thieving wouldn't have been a flop, but it, it I, I could have put, you know, my time elsewhere in this episode if it, didn't, if it didn't work out right now, which would really suck. But, you know, fingers crossed. I, I, I truly believe we got this. This should be the quest complete. Yes, we did it. Okay, now I know you got to talk to Osman. Osman then tells me something about the squirk juice or something like that. Oh, my heart was pounding that entire quest, guys. Squirk juice. Um, I'm just going to ask a few questions just to make sure. Um, okay. I had to go through this entire dialogue to get teleported there. We are here, and we need the autumn. Which one's the autumn one? Uh, looking like this one. Autumn elemental. Okay. Okay. Yeah, let's do this. I, I don't know how easy or hard this is going to be. Uh, should be very, very easy, guys. So I'm just going to get a bunch of the squirk stuff. And yeah, I'll see you guys once I finish this treacherous task. So we are coming up on our last juice here. We need three per beer glass. We actually need a pestle and mortar as well, which I do have in the bank, so it's not that big of an issue. Uh, I don't know if I can make that one because he's going to swing around. It's very annoying. <laughs> I hate this place, man. It's not too bad once you know when to, to uh, run and stuff, but it's just, it's not the most fun. Um, there's no wonder why it's, it's a ghost town in here. Okay, there we go. There's six. And four farming. Actually quite cool. I, I had one before that. Uh, yeah, I will. That's what we're going to do. So, let's home tally. I might get some cheaper food. I don't know if I can work it out before that, if we can get something fairly simple. Um, but yeah, and then we'll get take the boat back, and uh, yeah, we'll come straight back and just keep on doing this. We've got, the, uh, we've got the magic level now, so it's just a case of getting a defense level, hopefully. So, with the money left over from the Agility Pyramid and the money we just made at Undeads, I've got 77k now, which is insanely good. Uh, I'm going to pick up some Death Runes because I don't have any. 
Um, and we definitely need to buy some. How much? 180, so 10, 181. Oh, we can buy like 50 at a time, I'd say. Yeah, it goes up hardly anything. We'll buy like, f yeah, we'll buy 50 at a time and I'll hop. Uh, yeah, just need some deaths and, and fire runes so that I can actually get myself uh, ready with the Ivans for the uh, for the fight. There we go. That's 200 casts, and I've actually got I think 29 runes, 29 death runes, and like maybe 400 uh, fire runes in the bank anyway. So we're set. We are set for the fight. Uh, I am gonna buy Crown ones just because they're such a good heal. It won't take long to buy, and we can just come back here. And hit the ship again. Um, I was going to do cakes. But the problem is. The undead druids can hit like 12s. And by the time you eat a cake three times. There's a chance it's hit you again. Um, so yeah. I think the money's so good now. The undead druids are just paying for themselves. They'll definitely pay for crab ones. So we're just going to we're just gonna use crab ones from now. Just filmed a whole clip. About getting 64 defense. And I've realized I wasn't even recording. So that was good, wasn't it? But uh, yeah, we just got 64 defense. Uh, we've got 30 minutes left. I'm going to do some recoils. Just do like admin stuff, Karam ones, all that good stuff. Um, and I'll see how much time I've got left at the end. So that's the Karam ones bought. I'm now going to take the boat from here to Port Sarim and then Port Sarim to uh, Rimington. No, well, walk to Rimington, then take the boat from Rimington to Ardy. Then go down to Yanil, buy some Greenman's Ales, and we will, uh, ooh, Ninja Impling, I wish I could catch that. Um, yes, yeah, so we'll get some Greenman's Ales, we'll make some Prayer Pots up. I'm going to do all of the Rainars I have into Prayer Pots, I'm not going to make them into anything else. Um, and hopefully that will also give me the level so I won't have to boost and I won't have to go to Yanil every time I want to make Prayer Pots. I'm planning on bringing three prayer pots to this fight, guys. Three. Um, home telly should work now. Sweet. So let's go home, get a pestle and mortar. And honestly, guys, I'm going to go open up those grubby keys right now after we make the juices. Um, wait, if we're doing that, just go to Wintertop Camp. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. Start running south. Squirk juice has been completed. We definitely need a slash weapon. Um, I actually might want to kill baby reds, but I, I, I want to do that on my second trip there because you just get a full inventory of like a million things. We need the grubby keys. <laughs> what am I doing? Um, and I want to loot them all, so it means I will have to drop food there, unfortunately, and everything, but I want to bank what I can. Um, the only reason why I'm doing all three in one inventory is because, you know, I... I, I, as you can see, I'm struggling to get in as it is, and I am bringing my second just in case there's some issue where it goes down when as soon as I try to walk in or something. Um, but this hopefully means ranging potions. Okay, guys, I am so nervous. Let's do it. Pick lock, 57. 57, you attempt it. Yes, we're in, fellas, we are in. Come on. Yes! Haha, <laughs> no prayer pots, but yes, come on. Come on, RNG. <laughs> Look at that. Prayer pots. Come on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh we're gonna drop this stuff. Oh, ooh, ooh, hold on, hold on. Okay. Um I mean again, I can't leave. I can't leave to bank this stuff, unfortunately. Uh we'll just drop it for now and we'll we'll take a look after. Come on. Oh. My. Gosh. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm clapping. I. It's just not the most common thing in the world, guys. It's not like you're guaranteed to get this stuff. Hold on. Okay. That's not going to save any spaces. But um, we did get the ranging pot. Only one, unfortunately. But, you know, we, we did get the super store and the prayer pot. So it made up for it. We're going to have to drop the eggy boys. Uh, Take the sharks. Maybe we can bring some to the fight, because at I, I, like, this point going forward, we now have access to the grubby chest. We just got to rely on these fucking squirk juices. Um, that's alkable, so I might save that. At least I think so, at least. Uh, we'll, we'll just save it. We'll save it. It's just an egg potato. It's not a big deal. I'm hyped. Uh-uh, that's fucking brilliant. Do I have a telly? I do. Oh my gosh. Oh, actually, no, I'm going to walk out this way. <laughs> I can't even leave. <laughs> Imagine I got stuck in here. Oh, imagine I had to wait for that to come back. Okay. Okay. All right. I mean, I don't even know what I'm going to do. There's a few things I could do. I can go for more grubbies. I can start making money now because I have the agility pyramid. Because uh, I do want Ibn soon, but I also need to get prayer pots. Uh, I don't want to have to rely on the grubby uh, chest 
you know. I feel like because I was so focused on trying to switch to the long sword and and just try and get him off prayers that I actually flicked like no offensive prayers at all. And I think that might have lost me the fight. So instead of trying to do all that bollocks with, you know, trying to get him off prayer, like I, the, I've clicked on the wrong thing. The Drang Longsword slash Drang Dagger at the moment just isn't going to do enough damage anyway. Like it's not worth it. So instead what I'm going to do is just try and smash it with the magic and just have the offensive prayers on and hopefully that does enough. There we go, 38 herb law and right on the amount where I ran out of snake grass. That's good, but I've got loads to make. I've got 11 more potions and 25 more Raynars to, to put into potions. So we're gonna go ahead, do this. I'll probably go hit and get some snake grass just so I've got some because I don't wanna forget that at some point and then be like, oh shit, I can't take prayer pots to a fight or something. So I'll do that, uh, 16 minutes left. So no crazy rush um, on doing anything, to be honest. It's a pretty chill last 16 minutes. Oof, that's given us 39 herb lore. Very, very nice. Four minutes left. I think I'm just gonna... I don't know. Maybe do some thieving. I'll probably do some thieving. All right, there we go. I've got three HP left, so doesn't really matter because I... There's no wines in stock. There never are. So yeah, that's going to be it for me. But we did get a level. We were at, what, 100 XP or whatever it was away. So we did get 46 thieving. Let me show you my setup for today, guys. Right, this is going to be it, Bees and Gs. I, uh, I'm going tank mage here. So with the granite body, it takes us up to 165 range defense, which is massive. I think that's about a 30 plus on what we previously had. Still got a bonus of 18. That's a little problem here where I am lacking um, with my magic attack bonus, but I'm just hoping I'll be tanky enough that this means I can still output enough DPS, um, but still be so tanky that we don't take too many hits. Um, I'm bringing three pots. I'm bringing three prayer potions so that we can keep on uh, Steel Skin and Mystic Might for the whole fight. I think it's worth it. I really do. Um, and then obviously a super defense as well, uh, along with a spare recoil and the runes and crab ones that we need to do everything we want here. I'm keeping it simplistic. I'm keeping it easy right now. I don't think it's worth doing switches and stuff. I just don't have good enough stats in the melee side of things um, to make it effective enough. Let's see what happens. Let's go into this. I think I am going to start getting herbs together. I, I have to. It's it's the one thing that's going to hold me back from these fights right now is the lack of prayer potions. And of course, Link can now make them and I have to rely on methods like this. So let's... uh. Uh, okay, yep, okay, that's what we'll do. Shit, oh my gosh, I'm buzzing. I'm buzzing. 200 death runes as well. I just realized that. Boom, all in the bank we go. All right, guys, here we are. We're potted up. Uh, we're at the druids. We're at the normal druids now. I, I feel like super defenses aren't going to be an issue now because they're actually extremely common from the grubby chest. I'm talking extremely common. And right now, I just want as much low-level herbs as possible. Like, quarms, uh, I guess I'll pick them up. It really isn't too long to bank. Back-to-back -back quarms, really. I mean, who 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 knows? Who knows what herbler level I'll get to at some day on this account? But, um, yeah, there's so many plans I have kind of in the back of my head that I want to do, you know, make money for Ibans or make money in general. But this is the one, like I said, where I feel is most crucial. The only annoying thing with Ibans is that it's, it's, it's going to be a whole episode long. Do all the quests, make the money to imbue it. Um, but I will have to do it soon anyway, because I will need to get more, um... Runeite bolts. We have 41, which means we used, what, 19 last fight. So I know that's enough. I have to be very careful of picking them up. For right now, I'm going to grind the next hour and 10 minutes here, guys. Um, and just Warfweed I'll probably never use. But I feel guilty leaving it there just in case. Uh, but yeah, let's see how many herbs we can get. 24 minutes on the clock left. 60 defense comes flying in. This is our second trip, um, which is two inventories each time, essentially, because we have the looting bag. We got a full looting bag ready to bank right now. So, uh, you know, hopefully still putting that really, really big dent in. I might actually switch to range for it to be a bit quicker. Uh, I'm not sure yet. I, I still very much value um, this defense XP and range. I can always get up decently at the, uh, at the baby red dragons whenever I have to go back there, which will be very soon. A little bit of a gear change, as you can see, and also a little bit of an inventory change. His magic is leagues stronger than his melee, and he knows that. 
Um, so I am rocking the mirror shields in this fight so I can get that plus 70 magic defense. A bit nervous in doing so, but even if he does go melee or predominantly melee, I could always just put on the skirt. I still have 148 slash defense. It's physically impossible for him to have the Dragon Scimitar, I think, in one episode's unlock. So I'm not worried about him having a Dragon Scimitar here at all. My main concern is that magic defense keeping prayer up. And we now have a range pot, the super defense, a restore, and a prayer potion. I'm only doing this because I only have two doses of prayer, two doses of restore left in the bank. And of course, I just want to max it out because I think he will have two prayer pots in this fight as well. Uh, the recoil, the anti-poison, which unfortunately we still have to bring. I'm also bringing, what is that, seven sharks. I still have seven sharks in the bank, but I did want some combo eats, but I'd like to save some for the next fight as well. Um, so if I lose this fight by like seven HP, I'm going to kick myself in the throat. But let's hope it doesn't come to that. I'm pretty confident about this fight. I won't lie. I really am feeling it. But of course, Link could have conjured up some crazy, crazy plan. But we'll just have to wait and see, guys. Let's hop in the fight right now. I believe he's ready for me. So, whew, I'm a bit nervous, but I'm I'm feeling good. Feeling good. Kiddos, kiddos, kiddos. It's another four Link. hours. Link, Link. It's a few days of you winning as well, mate. Team Rog have, have had, they've, they've been partying, not in the streets because they've been COVID safe, <laughs> but they've, they've been at they, home. They, they have their masks yeah. on. So yeah. It's okay. Following regulations. How'd it go for you, mate? What'd you get up to? Where did you land? All that good stuff. So I landed. Where did I land? I landed in the dig site. Um, I mean, of course, you're going to watch the video. So my unlocks this episode were setting the precursor for Ivan's. I mean, yeah, I, again, right. you'll, you'll figure it out. People yell at me all the time for, Rarg, don't give your plan away. Guys, it, it, it's impossible to hide it from each other. He's gonna we see we do video. so much research. I've done so much research yeah. that I actually think I sort of know what Kins would have done as well. Okay, hit me with it. Like, all right, so... You probably, you're gonna fucking nail it. I, well, <laughs> I know it. those of you who don't know, I was actually done a couple of days before Kins, so I've sort of been sitting on my account. I haven't really, I haven't done anything because I've been waiting for Kins. Um, so I decided to go hard on the theory crafting. What I would do is you. What I would do is obviously you got the 50k XP. That goes into thieving. I'll tell you right now, I put mine into thieving. Quite close. I don't know if it's possible to get thieving to 58. Or was it 57? I can't remember now. To get 57, 57. 57. And then I looked into thieving boosts. And I saw the fucking Sorceress Garden shit. And I was like, he has that unlocked. If I was him... I'd be fucking trying to get thieving as close as possible and then use the second um, juice to boost and then go and open grubby chests and see what you get. That That's what I theory crafted together. Link, if you want to just play next episode for me, I'm more than happy, it? my man. Did I get it? You got it. You <laughs> nailed it. 55 thieving. Wow. But it, it, it bit me in the ass a little bit. Wow. Okay. Well, since you just told me my plan, I honestly have no idea what you've done. Um, there's there's, there's you... no way you would. <laughs> because I'll just tell you my chunk, mate. And like, from what it is, I got the Kazi jungle, mate. You know, the Legends quest. <laughs> yes. The bottom of that. Oh, okay. I was like, do I go down, start trying to open up Apatol and all that shit? and Because I could just touch it if I went down. So what I did was I made a path up um, to up and right and then just connected up to my mud skipper point and just made an even bigger landmass. Oh, right. So um, I guess to increase your chances of getting close to it to uh, eventually yeah. unlock Apatol. I didn't think it was worth just trying to put some straight down because then like if I get one to the right or one to the left, then I still don't have it. So even if you hit Apatol, I think it's impossible from a one episode standpoint. Right, it was I'm definitely very behind. worried about the ranging potions, which I'm sure you would have got one from three. Very worried. That was, that was my big worry if you were able to pull it off that range of potions were now in play which just with runite bolts is devastating devastating it, i you know i'm i i kind of knew this low key i but i haven't i i did run the dps calculator i didn't realize how much a ranging pot affects dps mm -hmm. i looked into it's it I looked more into than it. i thought yeah so worrying i don't have a reliable source for prayer when you do mm -hmm. So I, I, I felt cornered to kind of go down that path. And I figured even if he tries to do something better, it's like, well, I still unlock it. I can still then get in there and it'll help me out in every episode going forward.
Yeah. No, I think it's a solid plan. It's exactly what I would have done. And I just proved it by saying yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Let's Literally. go to the reveal, mate. You pick your first item. All right. Wait. First, combat level link. And then, oh, yeah. then we do okay. that. Yeah. All right. All right. On go. Cool. Three, two, one, go. <sighs> Did you even change? I really don't even know. Wait, I feel point. like I might have got one, but I'm not okay. sure. I've got one. I'm 69 now, so yeah. I... Naughty. Mm, wish you were 73. We'd be the fucking duo and a half over fucking here, but up. no, you fucking ruined it. You ruined it. Uh, Anyways, okay. Do you want to do a little look at the stats? Because I just want to have a quick look. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Do you cool, want to go cool. first? I'll let you go first. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll go first. 60 attack, 57 strength, 64 defense. Going up a little bit. Wow, okay. 47 prayer, that's the same. Up one magic level, maybe he's still bringing magic. You just got that level too, so... Yeah, you like shot for it. High alchemy while I was at the undead druids. I don't know if I'm missing something, but it I, doesn't. I don't think you are, to be honest. I mean, obviously, okay. I put my thieving XP in, but you know that. Uh, yeah, yeah, that. I mean, that that I knew. Forty six. Yeah, okay. Nothing too crazy, right? Let's have a let's have a cheeky look at you. Forty eight attack, fifty strength, sixty defense. That's gone up, hasn't it? Yeah. Uh, only one level. Nothing. Okay. Nothing to scream about. But yeah, I just range wanted is the to same? that. Yep. 52 prayer, same. 60 magic is the same. Uh, yeah, there's the 55 thieving. That plus two boost. He fucking nailed it. Shit. Let's get into this, kids. Can okay, wait, wait. You sound a bit nervous, but uh, yeah, let's, let's I am go. nervous, because I think Runeite Bible's Rune, uh, Ragey Pot beats me. On the calculations I did, I'm pretty sure it beats me, so... I'm, I'm he, well, all right. I, I I know there's a trick because he, he didn't tell me his plan yet. So let's fire into the reveal. Link, I'm just gonna go helm. You know, keep it keep it the same. Okay. All right, no upgrade. I know that's something he wanted, and I guess he, he isn't going for it yet. I was thinking that might have been it, but obviously not. Let's go shield, mate. Bring in the mirror this Ooh, time. Ooh, interesting. Okay, okay, for that magic defense respect yeah and it's like it's 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 not horrible for melee defense mm -hmm. so i figured whatever you know i know your magic is stronger yeah okay rune kite rune kite i mean that's i i don't think we'll ever upgrade that unless you get the ice trolls uh let's go legs definitely want to see what Okay, so you are still going magic. All right, that was well, probably my boy. biggest worry. Magic that was still boy. my biggest worry. I mean, I I did want you to go magic. It's mm. not here for me, Link. Pick that plant. Oh, really? It's bothering me. Yeah, it's you. Oh, wow. That you, you want the free fruit. Nah, nah, I don't need it, mate. Don't need it. <laughs> i got energy pots now, so we're all G. We're all G. Oh, fuck's sake, human. Um, uh, let's Your pick. go body mate let's see what you got i'm sure that red dehyde isn't changing oh uh, I'm, imagine not bringing the fucking <laughs> red dehyde body you know this is where my upgrade is mate which probably gives it mystic away. top okay took me okay. hours to get this we had a player on our team okay. with 46 hp and i kept having to heal him and we died once it was i was i was fuming i was losing my <laughs> shit mate. but yeah okay i mean i i, I knew that was going to make an appearance at some point Okay, shit. Yeah, that would gave it away. Defense. It's it's fucking it's massive. Yeah. It's actually scary massive. What what is the negative mage attack? I it looks like you're 22. still. Oh my Minus god. Minus twenty two magic on it. Yeah. Minus... Uh, let's go. Let's go gloves. I need mage bonus, mate. I need mage bonus. <laughs> <laughs> the, okay. the the hard leather ones have been dropped <laughs> yeah, and they're bent. Gone. They're gone. Uh, I'll go boots. Did not upgrade them yet. No worries. Did, did not feel like it was worth spending time into it for like plus one extra range mm -hmm. bonus. Uh, you'll pick me. Um, let's go. Let's go, Cape. I know what I'm seeing here. Yeah, I know what I'm seeing as well. Yeah. Yep. Uh, necklace. Can't see these changing. Either. Power. Definitely not. Definitely not. And then two recoils. Yep. Yep. And I mean, you know my weapon. <laughs> yeah, as you said, we should do that first. <laughs> we really should. We really should. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. I I also do have this, so uh, I did not forget it. You know, yeah, plus yeah. seventy magic defense. Yeah, Could I, I I I I just thought of it. I know your melee is much weaker, so I did think you were gonna rely on magic this fight again, yeah. even if you did train melee. 
And yeah. I figured I can tank through his melee hits much easier than magic. So fuck it, let's just tank magic the whole time. Yeah, fair. Whew, dude, my heart's pounding, man. Yeah? That body scared me a little I think, bit. I think you've got this, mate. So I wouldn't worry. I wouldn't worry. Three prayer pot. Okay, okay. All right, since you just threw up your inventory. <laughs> uh, what, just the mindset on three prayer pots? Just curious. Uh, keep steel skin and mystic might on for the whole fight. Last fight, I wasn't using any offensive prayers or I flicked for maybe a tiny bit at the end. And the amount of DPS lost is not worth a crab one, I think. So three just to keep it on the whole time, I reckon. Right, okay. And he does have a ranging pop. So I... Uh, Bs and Gs, I think it's going to be two losses in a row. I'm not going to... I'm not going to... He gets defense pots with that as well. They come together, I know that. Uh, he's got a restore, obviously. He's got a prayer pot. I do have this, though. So you nice. little cheeky nice. fucker. Good shit, good shit. And then that, that. And, uh... Sharks, sharks. Yeah, there they, yeah, they come, yeah. Ah. Uh, yeah, B's and G's. Uh, I treated you to like 10 wins in a row. Get ready wow, for a few. Wow, he's selling himself short. Get dude, ready dude, for a few losses, guys. I thought I was this gonna is, win and lost, so. This is, uh, yeah, this is, this is gonna be painful for the next few episodes, I'll tell you that. B's and G's, this is not good. This is not good. Team Rory, we backed him in a corner now, uh, so we're, we're, uh, we're, we're sitting all right, but let's, let's, let's talk after we do this fight, because I still am there. I'll, I'll box this fight somehow, okay? <laughs> Oh, oh no, you're, you're actually hyping me up. I, I didn't say much, bro, <laughs> so careful, careful. <laughs>
Link, I'm not taking my prayer down before you you want me Go to fucking try testing this or test, some shit. Become a testy boy. <laughs> nah, I'm good, bro. Come on. Okay, that was a good little stint there. I'm out the corner as well. Now you're up against the rope skins. Ah, it's the difference between you and I. I don't mind it. Yeah, you, you know? like being on the ropes? Ah, I'm talking about being against the wall, not on the ropes, but, you know, a little bit of stress never hurt anybody, you know? Mm, I think it did. I think there's a statistic that stress is the biggest killer of people in the world, but, okay. Well, this just turned into therapy <laughs> session, at Link. I just Apparently. don't want to spit fake, you know, fake news and lies on the PvPs, you know? I like the integrity <laughs> we've got. <laughs> Oh, come on. Link, you're hitting more than me, man. You reckon? I think you're hitting think more so. than me. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. I'm so focused on my hits right now, and I just... Yeah. My hits and my HP, I'm not even really watching the characters, because I know you can't switch. Um... Does have a lot of spaces taken up, I and mean, so do I. It's just the problem. One. Come on, big hits. Big hits. Can't hit. Can't hit. So many splashes, guys. So many. You have enough runes this time, Link? Yeah, plenty of runes <laughs> this time. Fuck me. Hits. There's one. Let's have another one. No. Hits. Come on. <sighs> it was prayer dropped. Come on. Big hits. Big hits. Are you out? Oh my god, is he out? Don't even know, guys. He's out, isn't he? He's out. I'm out. <sighs> I'm out. 24 HP. What the fuck? Oh my god! <sighs> Jesus Christ. I'm actually, I can't believe I've won that. <sighs> Genuinely can't. You know what? I didn't use my second range pot and second super defense on purpose because I wanted to um, save it for next fight. Yeah, I think before, that's before probably Before right. somebody comments that, but obviously... <sighs> Fuck. That's probably quite smart because it's better to try and uh, win the second as well. I did use my second super defense, but fairly late on in the fight. And I used all my prayer pots. Wow. And I ran I, oh, I had wow, one wow. prayer point on the kill. <sighs> Shit. I can't believe I've won that. I really can't. I really can't. Link, you say this every week. You, that, you know that. That right? you should have won. That you should have won. I, I tell, I shit you not. You should have won that. Like the DPS calc, definitely from what I've done. That that's your fight, one hundred percent. The RNG's just given me some luck there. As if you need any more. <sighs> With what you've got going on, mate, I'm worried. 
I'm worried. All right, Peter G's. Cannot believe I've won that. I really did not expect that at all. Um, let's see where we are going to be going here. Let's generate. 281. Okay, 281. Ooh. Link sells himself short all the time. I knew that body was going to be a... Uh... Uh, a force to be reckoned with. It's got like 90 something range defense. That's like 40 or maybe even 50 something over the rune chain body, which is ridiculous. I'm, I am a bit surprised the ranging potions didn't hit a little harder. And like I said, I, I did save these so I can use them next episode. Of course, in hindsight now, if I used them, I probably would have won. Um, but I'm just happy the accounts are really close. And his magic is, is like pretty capped right now with what it could do. And the fact that my range is is there and it could only get better, it, it does make me feel pretty good. I think that's the most important part. But um, let's get up the RNG generator and let's type in one, four, seven, two. Let's see where we go. Three, two, three. It's not Zaya, so I'm happy. Do we have this chunk already? Do I? No, I've got this one. Yeah, because I wasn't able to get to the crazy arc. This is the green dragon chunk. Um, It connects up with what I already have, which is nice. I think we have like this. It definitely connects, which I guess isn't too bad of a thing, but it's not a great chunk in itself, but it does give us a bit of freedom to play with. Um, I'll take it. I'll take it. The last two weeks have been pretty bad chunks. I think this one's... This one's okay. Three, two, three. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, that is really close to our big land. Um, but I can maybe start unlocking some pathways to Barrows. We got the XP reward this time. And I don't know. I mean, it's not going to get a 70, of course. But I know Link's going to try to focus on getting some Barrows here. I think Barrows actually gives quite a big negative um, attack bonus. So unless he gets Arams, I don't think Ibins is going to be too much of an issue for me. Um, this might fuck our Ibin plan up for this episode. But, you know, we'll have to do some planning around it, like always. Right, kids, we had so much fun in the Chaos mod the other day. I thought we'd go and do it again, but this time we're going to race from Franklin's house all the way to the top of the map and see who can get there first. What is going on, jumpy vehicles? Oh, no. Ragdoll? <laughs> oh, my God. Come on. Move. I think I'm close. I think I'm close. I'm going to turn. I'm going to turn here. I'm going to turn here. We have our chunks. Yep. It's time to see how that goes, guys, in the next episode on Tuesday over on Rag's channel. We'll catch you there.